Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use keyframing option in Femora 10. So you know that we have Femora 10.4 and this is the latest version of Femora 10. So I want to make another tutorial about keyframing because uh, recently when we have Femora 10, we only have a keyframe for video and image and uh, you don't know about keyframing for text and uh, other stuff like elements and and split screen uh, so that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial okay I hope this is a helpful tutorial for you if you are new here consider to subscribe to my channel okay so let's go to the screen uh, so here uh, I am inside film uh, inside my computer screen and this is a start page of Filmora 10.4 it is a new one so we need to start a new project uh, here at the new project button okay just click on that and now to to start using the the animation keyframe you need to drag and drop some medias into the timeline so the first thing I want to add a keyframe to a video so I'm going to select this video a sample video right inside Filmora 10 so just make it easy uh, for example this one this is a bitch so I'm going to drag and drop it here okay so in order to add a keyframe to your video you need to select the video on the timeline and this is a keyframing option when you select this button you see the uh, you, you will see some information the keyframing lets you animate change to the position rotation scale and opacity of the video clips or image or or any other elements okay so if you want to add a keyframe all you need to do is to click on this button and you can also right click at the video clip on the timeline and to select this one and select this one add animation it is the same for example this is a video clip on the timeline so this is a normal normal position and size so I, I want to add a keyframe uh, for it so it can scale down and move it to the the top left corner of the screen uh, to do that I'm going to add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and it is the first keyframe that we added to the clip and we need to move some frame forward and then we can scale it down by this uh, slider this is a slider to scale down the video so we can scale it down like like this one and this is the second keyframe so we have two keyframe on our video clip and we can adjust the speed of the keyframe by adjust uh, the distance of this uh, this keyframe on the video clip uh, here on the timeline so this is the second keyframe and this is the first keyframe we can even move the first keyframe to this position for example because we can uh, choose where the, the animation happen okay so that is a simple scale so we let's review it uh, at this position so we want to review this one uh, how the video scale down let's play it very nice right if you want to rotate or change the opacity of this clip uh, it is the same here uh, we have the, all these parameter rotate scale and position and opacity so we can change all these par parameter with the keyframing option in Filmora 10 for example at this position uh, it just scale down and I want to move it to here and then rotate a little bit I'm going to add another keyframe to add another keyframe you need to click here or you can press the shortcut alt plus k on your keyboard and I'm going to click here to add another keyframe and I need to move some frame forward and then I'm going to adjust the position here on the time uh, on the preview window to move it to this position and add the rotation at the rotation number I want to uh, set it to 360 so it will rotate one circle in one circle uh, so here is the second second animation effect for my video Phew. I think it's too fast and now we can adjust it to to make it uh, slower like this okay and the last thing about the keyframing for video is to reduce the opacity so for example at this position I want to reduce the opacity to zero start to make uh, I want to create a fade out effect for my video okay so what I'm going to do is to add another keyframe here and then uh, at this final uh, at this at the end of the video I want to uh, reduce the opacity to zero 
so that is very simple uh, right and here's all the keyframe that we added to our video clips uh, let's play it very nice right and for the rotation I just want to give you a small information for the rotation you can add maximum number here for example maximum num number is 9999 it's mean 9999 so this is the maximum rotation number you can add to to your keyframe and your video will rotate like this spinning around uh, it's just just a, a, a it is just an information for you like this by the way it is just a way that you can use the keyframing for your video okay so that is for the video uh, now supposing that I want to delete this keyframe all I need to do is to select it select the keyframe uh, or here and then I can press a delete button or I can uh, right click and delete the keyframe here it is very simple right so that is for the video and we, we can add a keyframe uh, for our text also so I'm going to add a text here on the timeline let's go to title and we can uh, we can choose a, a simple title this is the default title so we are going to drag and drop it onto the timeline and now we're going to change it to keyframing I'm sorry I need to select the title only so I'm going to double click at the title so we are going to change it to keyframing okay so this is the title and the first thing we want to add a keyframe at the beginning okay so to do that we need to select the title or the timeline and then uh, click this button add keyframe okay so at, at the first position I want to move the text out the screen and so to make a fly in effect for the text uh, here so I'm going to drag it out the screen like this and now I'm going to move some frame forward for the uh, I am going to move the playhead some frame forward and then I'm going to use this one the position slider I'm going to slide my text inside the screen okay and here the flying effect for the text very nice right and we can do uh, do the same to create a fly out or fly up or fly down effect for our text also we can add another keyframe here and then we can move some frame forward and then we can select the text here and then move it out the frame to create a fly out effect for our text so this is the, the animation keyframe effect for text very nice right and there are two other things the first one is the elements you can also add add keyframe to your elements uh, in Filmora 10 so to do that we can drag and drop an element here on the timeline uh, just an, an example so there are many there are many elements here uh, but I'm going to use this one for example this wow this wow element so element is a video so it is a video so you can add keyframe to it like this okay so this is a wow so i i want to add a keyframe at this position i want uh, this this wow text to fly out or just go out the the screen to do that we can add a keyframe here at this position so uh we can uh, move some frame forward also and then we can use this slider to move it out the frame okay and that's easy right and we can adjust the speed of the the keyframe too so this is a wow fly in and fly out that is this is for the elements keyframing for the elements and finally finally you can add keyframe to your split screen template here in Fimura 10 also for example now I'm going to delete everything on the timeline and open this one and now we go to the split screen and for example we are going to use this one uh, the one and two split screen okay so let's uh, bring some media inside this uh, template also uh, we're going to the video and I'm going to use this one drag and drop this one just for example okay so this is the first one and this is the second one okay so this is the first keyframe we are going to add the first keyframe for our, our split screen and this is the first uh, first keyframe and then 
where we are going to scale it down so this is a position where i want to scale uh, this split screen down maybe 50 percent or stuff like that we can scale it down here and now also we need to rotate it a, a little bit here and we are going to select three and resect or maybe two two circles so 720 20 and enter uh, so this is the effect for the keyframing effect for our, our split screen just rotate it like this and at this position we can make it fade away so we are going to add another keyframe and this is a, the keyframe for the opacity so this is the animation keyframe for our split screen in Fimura 10 All right, so that is everything about keyframing option in Fimura Tense. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to update to this latest version, try to go to have and check for update in the program. If you want to download this software, check out the description. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.